Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today's video is going to be my monthly haul video. For those of you that are new around here, then I'll quickly introduce myself. So hello, my name is Patricia and I upload videos at least once a week here on my YouTube channel. I do lots of fashion content in particular, like styling videos as well as haul videos. I do this like monthly what's new in my wardrobe at the end of every month, which is just a way for me to show you what is new in my wardrobe and the new pieces. I try them on as well so we can see them all and you guys can let me know what you think about them. I also post videos of like beauty and lifestyle and travel here and there as well so if you like that sort of thing then please do subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love to have you here as a subscriber on my channel so if you're not yet subscribed then please do. This month's haul is very much a mismatch of loads of different things. I've got some summery bits. I've also got like summer loungewear if that makes sense. I've got like quite a few basics in here as well so it's a real like miscellaneous bunch of things. So I'll start off with ASOS. I actually made an ASOS order when they were doing 20% off. They've had a few like flash sale moments recently so they were doing 20% off everything and I picked up a few things. Well I bought quite a quite a lot of things but I only ended up keeping three so I'll show you the three that I'm keeping. So first up is this little crop top. This is a square neck crop top. I love a square neck. I think it's just so flattering on so many different body types. I just think it looks really nice. It's one that I personally really love wearing. So I thought this was a cute little summery piece despite being long sleeve. I think it will be great to pair with like high-waisted shorts for an evening for example and then high-waisted jeans in the winter time. It's basically a wardrobe staple. It's cropped but not too cropped. It's only slightly cropped. Like I, I can definitely feel comfortable with this. I don't feel like it's too cropped or like a bra top or anything like that. It basically finishes where most of my high-waisted pieces start which for me is perfect. You'll get like a tiny rim of uh, skin on show and I think that's usually quite flattering. So this will be lovely. I love the square neck like I said. I got this in a size six because this is ASOS own brand and part of their fuller bust range. I don't need to buy their fuller bust range but they didn't have this in sort of regular so I got the fuller bust and just sized down and it fits really well. And also from ASOS I got a few like sporty bits which is a bit weird coming from me but I got a pair of cycling shorts. These are from Puma and they're really quite good. They're potentially not as high waisted as I, was, as I would want them to be but they're like high waisted enough. They're like right at my belly button but they're really comfy and I was worried that they wouldn't feel too comfortable but they are pretty comfy. These I got in a size extra extra small which I think is like the UK equivalent of a size six. Usually I do size down in leggings and things just because I feel like that way they sort of like suck you all up like that. And finally from ASOS I also picked up a little crop top. This again is from their sports range. This is actually ASOS own brand as well and their sportswear brand is called 4505. They have some really nice things. I've already got this in black so I thought I would pick up the white as well just so that I can alternate between the two so some days I can wear this one and some days I can wear the black one so it's just kind of like an update of something I've already got. I get this in a size 8 and it's a bit more of a loose fit but that's exactly what I want. Next up let's do Topshop. I haven't bought anything from Topshop in such a long time. It really has been a long time. I can't remember the last time I made a Topshop order to be honest but I did a couple of, uh, I did last week I think, like not too long ago but I got some really cute things. Again I made like a larger order but only kept three pieces. So this is a play suit that I just adore. It's so nice. I love play suits and jumpsuits and that sort of thing but sometimes they're not the best for me and my height so I'm around 5'9 and usually like jumpsuits and play suits they're just a bit too short, a bit too uncomfortable so usually I don't really opt for them basically but I couldn't resist trying this one because I just absolutely loved the look of it. It's a daisy print, long sleeved but obviously a play suit so it's a shorts version. It's got this ruffle detailing around the front, it's a button down and it's got a square neck. I know as I'm holding it up it's hard for you to see but when I try it on you will see 
and I just think this is so flattering on. It is a little bit short, but I don't feel uncomfortable wearing it or anything, so I'm super happy with it and the length of it. It's got a ribbon that you can tie. You can tie it around the front with a bow if you like that, but I typically tie up things like this around the back because it just cinches in your waist so nicely, and I think this does exactly that. I'm very happy with this. I got it in a size eight. And speaking of play suits and jumpsuits, I also picked up a jumpsuit from Topshop. So clearly Topshop are doing very well on the jumpsuit and play suit front. I fell in love with the simplicity of this. It's an all black jumpsuit, but it's got this really pretty detailing, almost like a scallop detailing going along the straps of it. And it's got a shared bodice as well. Anything with a shared bodice these days makes me so happy because it means I can size up because they are so stretchy and elasticated they'll sort of like fit regardless like even if they are a size up they'll just fit a little bit more comfortably so I got this in a size 8 and it goes into sort of like a cropped leg jumpsuit it finishes like just above my ankles I think it's quite a nice height for me I think these will look really pretty with like some summer heeled sandals it will be dressed up really nicely but also easy to dress down with just a pair of converse or vasia trainers as well very happy with this and sizing wise I got this in a size 8 as well. And lastly from Topshop, I got a pair of sweatshirt shorts. Sweatshirt shorts? Sweat shorts? I don't really know, like tracksuit style shorts. These are in their grey mile. They've got pockets. They're quite short, but not too short. And sometimes I've been looking at shorts like these and they're just all so short, but I think these are actually okay. They do have like that sweatshirt material though. So they are very warm on the inside. So I don't know if they'll be like the best for the summer, but lounging around at home, I think they will work really, really well. I just wanted something like basic that I could lounge around in. I got these in a size six so that they would be more high-waisted and like fit up my waist very well and I think they do. From New Look I bought a couple of dresses. The first one is this gorgeous puff sleeve dress. Again it's got a bit of a square neck so you can see there's definitely a theme this month. I didn't notice that until I started filming this video but clearly this month I have been loving the square necks. It's got a big like exaggerated puff sleeve which I'm sure by now you know I love as well. It's a spot print, it's a blue and it goes into a midi length. It's also got a little slit on the side as well and I always think that dresses with a slit gives them like much more movement so I think they are always more flattering as well again you can tie it up to adjust to your waist and it's just really lovely it looks way more expensive than it is as well I think new look New Look is one of my favourite high street places, I have to be honest, and I am obsessed with this. I got this in a size 6. A bit of a wild card from New Look, but one I am so happy with. And it's another dress, but this time a slip dress. It's got a gorgeous, like, leopard print running through it. It's just like... You can't see it, it's really very subtle. It's in the same red color, just in a different material. So it kind of like glistens in the light. Oh, I think this is beautiful. The straps are adjustable. It's got a cowl neck front, which I think is really very flattering, particularly if you don't have a very big bust. I think that it just falls really beautifully along your bust and I think it's really flattering. And it's also got a little slit down one of the sides as well, which like I said, I love for added movement. It's a standard midi length and I just love this. I was so pleasantly surprised with this. They have a few more colours, notably hot pink, which I was so tempted by, but I thought I would get more wear out of like classic red, so I went for the red. And again, I picked this up in a size six. River Island sent me a few summery pieces. I picked these out from the website, but they were gifted to me. And so I picked out first off this one shoulder sleeve or yeah kind of one shoulder sleeve dress now one shoulder I'm like so umming and ahhing about this I've done a video all about how to style one shoulder tops or asymmetric tops because they were so popular at one point but I haven't had an asymmetric dress in ages but I love the look and feel of this it's got this sort of just holiday vibe in my opinion they had this both in white and also in like a bluey green kind of teal color which I thought was lovely as well but I went for classic white because I am loving white outfits at the moment I just thought this was really nice I got this in a size eight just so that I would have a bit more room there particularly along the top because it's elasticated and sometimes I get like that sort of bunching under the armpits if things are too tight so yeah I got a size up just to hopefully avoid that it's more of a loose fit like an a-line fit 
and um, yeah, so I'm hoping it will look a little bit more oversized and just be a really casual one for the summer. It's got quite a lot of embroidery or like laser cut flowers and things like that, which I think is a really nice attention to detail. And this is pretty similar. So it's also from River Island, but obviously a different style of dress. So this is a bandeau style, which I think is really pretty. It's just a mini dress, a nice beach dress. It is actually from their resort collection. So more for like holidays and things. But again, we've got the kind of laser cut embroidered detail along the top and also along the bottom of the dress which I just think is really nice I think it just it's the attention to detail I think that make pieces like black and white pieces stand out a little bit more and this I got in an extra small because it's got a bit of elasticated back so that means that it will fit like quite nice even if it is a smaller size another mini dress that caught my eye from River Island was this one it's actually also got laser cut running through it as well so clearly there's a recurring theme with my River Island order it's got puff sleeves which by now you know I love more of a sweetheart neckline which is very nice it's very flattering a floral design running all the way through it it's kind of like an off-white cream color with these orange flowers it's really pretty it goes into more of a like skatery style which is nice it's nice to have something that puffs out a little bit I think it's very cute and I got this in a size six and lastly from River Island this cute top I could not pass this up they also had it in yellow and I was so 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 tempted by the yellow version but in the end I went for white because I just thought it was a bit more like safe I guess it's a bit more of a safe option I thought it would work a little bit better with like more things in my wardrobe and that's what I want these days I want pieces that I can mix and match with what I already own so this is beautiful you can see the sleeves are incredibly exaggerated they've got this organza detailing going through and just amazing and then the back of this is equally as amazing it's got button downs and a little bow I think this will look incredible on I'm so excited to picture this like to take photos of this from behind because I I just think it looks so nice and size wise I also got this in a size 6 the last clothing brand is Revolve so I got a couple of pieces from Revolve this is from Majorelle and it's just a really nice crop top white again like I said I'm loving my neutrals my light and white colors it's got long sleeves but really quite like airy they're quite light so it's not going to be heavy or anything puffed sleeved shirt bodice and this is actually part of a two-piece and so it's got a matching skirt which is so cute again shared a lot of the material is shared so it's super stretchy I wish I had sized up in it for that reason though because the sharing does make it quite tight so you do have room to get a bigger size and I wish that I had done just so that would be more comfortable to wear it's got the gorgeous ruffle detail at the bottom as well this is a really nice two-piece I've shared it on my Instagram a fair few times and you guys seem to love it as well I got the skirt in an extra small but like I said I wish I had sized up and the top I also got in an extra small but I think I would have sized up in both of them to be honest I mean this is a haul of square necks and dresses basically I've got yet another dress with a square neck this one as well is from Revolve the brand is NBD I love this this is also featured on my Instagram already and it is stunning it's got quite thick straps which are really really nice because they give you like a bit more support and they also come Cover, like larger bra straps which I think is really great I don't really love wearing strapless bras because they just end up feeling uncomfortable by the end of the day so this allowing me to wear like a normal bra is fantastic it's a midi dress like I said and then the bottom is super like ruffly and poofy and beautiful so I really really liked that it's a white dress but it's got some like stripe detailing running through it which is really pretty and the best thing about the straps of this dress in my opinion are that you can adjust them so they have little button fastenings here I'm not quite sure if you can see that but there are button fastenings and you can adjust the length of the straps but the thing I'm most excited about is actually switching over the straps to give me a crisscross at the back very excited to do that next time I wear this dress but it's just so beautiful it's super like heavy as well but so nice I got this in a size extra small usually in revolve I do get an extra small so yeah the final piece from revolve is a mini dress from the song of style collection this is so pretty again puff sleeves with sweetheart neckline it's got like blueberries all the way 
through it, which I think is really pretty. It's got a wrap detail at the bottom, but this is very mini, like incredibly mini. And I kind of knew that Revolve dresses, in particular mini dresses, are always super short. So I should have known before I picked this out, basically, but I still really like it. I think it's really nice. It's definitely more of a holiday piece as opposed to a piece to wear in London. I don't think I'd feel very comfortable wearing this in the city, but on holiday, I think it will look beautiful. It's a super nice, like light material as well. And again, I got it in an extra small. And speaking of holiday, I also have a bikini to share with you. I love this. It's from Fig Leaves and it's so nice. It's got like fruit printed on it, citrus fruit, so like grapefruit, oranges, lemon and limes and it's really nice. A thick strap so it's really supportive. If you are familiar with the Fig Leaves brand then you'll know that they do cater mostly for fuller bust women and so this particular top doesn't have any padding but it's got an underwire so you have that extra support if you do need it. You also buy your like standard bra size as opposed to like small, medium or large, but I love this. It's super nice. And I've got the matching bottoms, which are a high leg pair. So they'll reach just above your hips, super flattering. I think this is so nice. You can mix and match their sets. So they have different styles of bra tops and they have different styles of underwear as well. So you can mix and match for it to suit you. I also bought some more period proof underwear, which I'm very excited to try. So these are from Modi Body and I got their classic thong, which I thought would be quite nice because I typically wear thongs and so I thought this would be good for like towards the end of my period or when I'm not quite sure if it's starting yet. So this is super light. I got this in a just standard black colour and then I also picked up the sensual high waist bikini as well and these are heavy overnight. So I've kind of got the lightest and the heaviest that they do just to try it out and these I also got in a black I'm really intrigued to try this like the whole concept is so intriguing and last but by no means least I have loads of socks and I know sometimes socks don't seem like the most exciting thing but I love these ones that I just had to include them. So they're from Sock Shop. They sent me a huge selection of socks that I was able to pick out from their website. I was shocked at just how many pairs they had available. So first up are these little avocado shoe liners. These are so nice. I wear my Vajas often. I wear Converse a lot. Just a lot of trainers basically. So shoe liners like these are what I basically live in. I prefer these to trainer socks. I just prefer not seeing any sock basically. So I thought these were super cute. Nobody's going to see them, but like I am, and it's going to make me happy to look down and see some smiling avocados. I also got a couple of more shoe liners, this time from Lulu Guinness. I had no idea that Lulu Guinness designed some socks, but I'm obsessed with them. So these are lip prints and striped, which I adored. And then these again are lip prints just in two different colors. I think these are so nice. Like they look so chic and I am going to feel like the bougiest person walking around with like my Lulu Guinness socks. It's amazing. I also got another pair of standard socks from Lulu Guinness. So again, we've got the black and white stripes. We've got black with a red heel and then we've got just plain black and all of these have lips on them as well, which is obviously like the classic Lulu Guinness symbol. And I also got a leopard print pair from Lulu Guinness. As soon as I saw these, I was like, these have me written all over them. They are just, they're so nice. Like I just love them. I mean, I love them. And the final pair of socks that I picked up from Sock Shop were these ones from L. So they are, I don't really know what they're called. They are anklets. So they reach up just above your ankle. So you're going to see the L over your trainers. These would actually be really good for ankle boots, I think. Like they're the perfect length for ankle boots and you don't have to worry about like losing your sock or it slipping down your foot. That has happened to me one too many times. It's very annoying. So yeah, these are just standard white. I also think they'll look really nice with chunky trainers. Chunky trainers and like that, the sock peeking through. It's been very popular at the moment as like a kind of sports luxe revival really. So these will be really cool to do that as well. And these are also made of bamboo fiber, which is a naturally grown product with a beautifully soft silk-like feel. I've never tried bamboo fiber socks, so I'm excited to. So that's everything that's new in my wardrobe this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which pieces were your favorites as well in the comments down below. I always love reading your comments, so do leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up to see more haul videos from me and like more fashion videos as well. As always, a big thank you for watching and I will see you all next week with a new video. Bye.